a privilege for me to be present amidst to you this morning for the opening of 98th annual conference of Indian Economic Association. I have association with this organization in the sense that several eminent persons associated with Indian Economic Association, I worked with them in several capacities in government and outside government with some of them and including Professor Kaushik Basu, the eminent economist and chairman of the current year's annual general body meeting. When I received the invitation from Dr. Kaushik Vasu to inaugurate this session of Indian Economic Association, I felt irritated and I readily accepted it. In this connection, I fondly remember one of the earlier occasions when I had this privilege in presiding over its Kolkata session. I am also told that Indian Economic Association is beginning its centenary year celebrations just a few days away from today in 2016, starting from 1917. at the final years of the First World War, when it was presided over by Professor Hamilton in Calcutta, this conference and organization made itself ready for many momentous changes, which it has witnessed for almost hundred years in its existence. Many of the eminent economists of India who played very crucial role in the administration, economic administration and policy formulation of this country in the post-independence India played very major role in the organization. Dr. Manmohan Singh, Professor Amartya Sen, R.K. Mukherjee, C.M. Bhakil, D.R. Gadgil, P.R. Brahmananda, and Professor Alok Ghos, to name a very few. And I had the privilege of working in very close cooperation with Dr. Manmohan Singh, almost to her three decades, and even before that, practically speaking, almost four and a half decades I had the working relationship with him.